Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. My name is Steve and I'm a business manager here at Forex Traders Daily. Joining me today is Jarrett Davis, who was ranked as the second best Forex trader in the world by the Barclays Currency Traders Index over a six year period between 2008 and 2013. In a few minutes, I'll turn the microphone over to Jarrett, but first let's do a quick microphone check to make sure that you can hear me loud and clear. So we're launching a poll Please click yes if you can hear and no if you can't. Okay, it looks like we're coming through loud and clear. So before we jump into the meat of today's webinar, please take a second to read over this disclaimer. As you are probably aware, investing in any market does carry risk and you could lose some or all of your money. So the information covered in today's webinar should be considered our opinions and should not be interpreted as advice to trade. With that being said, we have a great webinar for you today, and since we value your time, our promise to you is that we will not waste it. So let's get started. The purpose of today's webinar is to help you understand everything you need to know about joining Jarrett's Apprentice Program. So our goal today is completely different from most webinars you may have attended. What we want is to identify a group of traders who are seriously interested in becoming active apprentices of Jarrett. For some of you, that means you'll get the opportunity to work with Jarrett as professional traders, eventually helping him to trade millions of dollars of client money while enjoying all the lifestyle benefits of being a professional trader working side by side with one of the best traders in the world. For others, this means you'll have the trading skills to work for virtually any hedge fund you want. And there's a huge demand for traders who have the skills that Jared is teaching. And finally, for the rest of you who have no desire to work for hedge funds or trading desks, you'll come out of this program with the skills to trade profitably at home from anywhere in the world. Okay, so with that being said, let me quickly go over the outline for our webinar today so you'll know exactly what to expect. First, we'll begin with a brief introduction to learn about Jarrett's background and what he does on a day-to-day -day basis as a professional fund manager. Then, he'll give us an overview of how he uses fundamentals to make his trade decisions. Next, he'll take us through a recent trade example to highlight the power of his approach to trading. Then, we'll hear from one of his current apprentices. Next, Jarrett will explain how to enroll in his apprentice program. And finally, there'll be a Q&A at the end. So if you have any questions along the way, please hold them until the end. And most importantly, I'd like to ask that you put aside anything else that might be a distraction and give Jarrett your 100% attention. After all, the second best Forex trader in the world is giving you an hour of his time. So with all that being said, let me introduce our special guest today, Mr. Jarrett Davis. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. And mainly, I appreciate the opportunity to share something that I'm passionate about. Now, I absolutely love Forex trading. I could talk about it all day, every day. And if I wasn't traveling so much, I probably would. Now, I hope by the end of this webinar that I will have delivered enough solid content that you'll be able to look back on this time and know that it was a valuable use of your time. The purpose of this presentation is to help you understand everything that you need to know about joining my Trading Apprentice program. Now, before we begin the presentation, I would like to thank everyone very much for their comments. I've seen the comments posted on the videos that the team at Forex Traders Daily have shared, so thank you for that. It's really good to see such positivity and interest in my methods. And what we're going to do is we're going to go deeper and deeper into those methods as we go along. So let's get started with what I'm doing right now and how this relates to your decision to come on board as one of my apprentices. First of all, I work with a company called Smile Global Management, an investment company based in the UK in London. Now, they are part of a larger trading investment company called Independent Portfolio Managers, or IPM for short. Now, IPM manages over $250 million for clients, and IPM as a whole manages all sorts of different funds. Okay, so it's not just Forex. Now, Smile Global Management, their focus is on Forex and equity sold. So I'm the head of Forex trading within Smile Global Management. Now to give you a little bit more of a detailed explanation of what I do within Smile, we have two different elements. So the first element is the larger funds that we have under management. One of my roles, of course, is to trade these larger funds. Now the other role I have is to help managed account clients come on board and decide what they want to accomplish with their investments because everyone's different. So a client will come on and they might decide they want to invest in a Forex managed account. And my 
role is to talk with them, match them with a the strategy that we have, you know, that suits their risk profile, and um, basically what they're trying to achieve. So we've got lots of different strategies and traders, and we match these with the clients based on what the client wants. Now, sometimes the client wants a blend of a few different strategies on their account, while sometimes a client just wants one or two of the strategies individually. Now, it's my job to sit down, sort that out, and decide which is best for the client. So that's my role, if you like, at Smile. Now, the way I began was as one of those managed accounts traders. And right from the start, I did very well. In fact, since 2008, I've beaten the market every year. My results have been very consistent and, of course, very popular. Now, because of my excellent trading results, I quickly rose up through the ranks within the company to becoming a partner and, of course, being the head of Forex trading as I am now. So I've had a very successful trading career, and this success has, of course, brought many benefits. And I'd like to share a little of that with you now, just to give you a glimpse of what might be possible for you if you become one of my apprentices. Now, I got into trading to travel more and be completely free. I really wanted to travel the world, and I thought if I could earn money from my laptop, that would be a perfect way of doing it. And now I've reached that point. By means of my laptop, and actually these days, it's just my smartphone oftentimes. I can check prices, I can place and close trades, I can manage my positions, and of course, I can constantly check the news. Everything I need can be done now with my phone, and so effectively, I've achieved my dream. I have the ability to travel, I have lots of time, and of course, lots of freedom to do whatever I want to do. Everyone has different things that motivate them. Some people just want to be rich. Some people want to have really nice, expensive cars, mansions whatever it is I do like material things but the big thing for me is that freedom to travel and forex trading the forex trading skills that I've developed have enabled me to do so now of course it wasn't always like this I wasn't always working with a large company in London I wasn't always running an FX division I wasn't always trading managed accounts and funds I started off as a retail trader probably just like everyone listening to this initially I saw an online advert about forex trading and about making a living by trading currencies now I had no idea what that was at that point in time. So I clicked it because it sounded appealing. And that was the beginning of me going down the rabbit hole of Forex trading. So I began spending hours upon hours Google searching for information. I was trying to find courses, free forums, strategies. My focus for the first few years was trying to find that magic holy grail system that would never fail and that would make me a fortune you know the one that every time I click the button I'm sure you know you guys know what I'm talking about right and I wasted a couple of years on that quest trying to find this holy grail and the big mistake was the fact I was focused on finding the perfect technical system I just wanted to sit down look at my charts and have something to tell me when to buy, when to sell, and it would just make easy money. That whole time was a complete disaster, and I didn't make any money. I kept running around in circles, and I almost quit. I tried to learn to trade by myself. I tried to follow a successful trader, and I even tried to get someone else to do it for me in the form of a managed account. But none of it worked, and overall, it was a very, very frustrating time. And of course, I'm sure you guys can relate. Now, after that point, there was an aha moment. This was how I finally realized the power of using fundamentals. One day I was talking to a friend of mine who mentioned that she knew this trader who was doing pretty well. So this really grabbed my attention because you know, I was wondering what's this guy about? What does he trade? Who is he? Most importantly, I was thinking, what's his strategy? What is he looking for on the charts to make him so successful? Now, I knew he was successful just by looking at him because he had a really nice car. He owned his own great looking house. He traded his own money and he didn't have a job. He wasn't doing anything else. He was clearly making good money from trading because that's all he did. So over the course of talking to him, I didn't just come out and say, what do you do? But over the course of talking to him, I wanted to figure out what he was looking for. I was trying to look for his entry technique. I was trying to look for his trigger. And all he would say is, well, I thought it was going to go this way, so I just got in. And I'd be like, yeah, but <laughs> what made you get in? What was the trigger? And he'd be like, well, there was no trigger. I just got in. And, you know, I found that so frustrating because I just didn't get it. I was like, you need a set of rules. You need a mechanical way. And he was like, no, if I think something's going to go up, you know, I'll, if I think the price is going to hit a certain price in the future, it doesn't really matter where I get in because even if it goes against me in the short term, it's going to hit that price, right? Now, at that point, I started to get really fascinated. And the more conversations I had, the more trades we went through, I gradually began to see what was happening and how he was using fundamentals to give him the big picture outlook, 
which of course gave him conviction and confidence to hold his trades to a profit without getting scared out by short term moves. And so I started doing that on my own trades. So I started subscribing to the news feeds, uh, paying attention to the fundamentals and basically trading in the same way. I started trading on a demo account. Then I started trading with small money and building up and up until eventually I was consistently profitable. And trading actually became very simple. I remember I'd, I'd be in the shower in the morning and I'd just have no doubts about the fact that I was going to make money that day or that week. Now, of course, obviously, some days I lost money, some weeks I lost money. But most months I would be making a profit. And I certainly didn't worry about the month being negative like I did before. It was a very, very big shift in my consciousness of trading. Now, as all this was happening, of course, I started attracting attention. Now, at that time, I had this little you know, Skype trading room where I'd share with them what I was doing and you know, all the people in there and what trades I was taking, etc. Now, because of my trading success, word spread very fast. In a very, very short amount of time, I had like 30 or 40 people in the room. Now, what I didn't know is that in that room, there was a guy who was following me who was actually setting up a hedge fund. Now, eventually, he asked me if I would like to be one of his traders. Now, of course, that's what I was looking for. So he allocated me some accounts and I began trading. Now, within six months, I was head of trading at that place because of my performance. So things were going great. My trading was excellent and we were making more and more money. Now, about 2010, I decided to leave that fund because basically I wanted to set out on my own. I figured that instead of getting half the fees, I could keep all the fees for myself. So I did that for a few years. It went great. My clients were happy. We we're all making great money. And then in 2012, I decided, you know what? I want to become regulated. I want to be a regulated trader. At the time, I was based in the UK. I was trading for clients. And particularly because of the global financial crisis a few years before, regulation was becoming more important for traders like me. But the problem was that becoming a regulated trader was very expensive. It can literally cost hundreds and hundreds and thousands of pounds. But I needed to be regulated or my other option was basically to just stop managing clients' money. So the good news was that about this time I was introduced to Smile Global Management by my broker and I began working with them as a regulated trader. Now, as I previously mentioned, they were impressed with my trading performance. So now I'm actually a partner in the company. Now, over that period, I was also reporting my performance on the managed accounts to the Barclay Hedge Currency Traders Index, which, of course, is the biggest hedge fund database in the world. Now, if you just go to Google and you search hedge fund database, Barclays comes out at the top. It's by far the biggest one. If you want to find the best hedge fund managers, the best traders, the best CTAs, Barclays is the place to look. So, of course, I wanted to connect with clients, so I was reporting my results to them over the course of many years. Now, one day they emailed me and said, look, We've looked at your performance. You've got quite a good track record. You're actually re, you know, really highly ranked. So they said to me, you know, if, if I wanted to be included in their report, they would do that. And of course, I said, absolutely. You know, I definitely wanted to be, have that ranking. I could definitely use that. And that's how I was identified and validated as the second best ranked trader in the world. Now, one of my roles within Smile is trying to find good traders and great strategies. Now, one of the challenges that we have is because we're regulated, you can't just plug in a strategy to a client. Now, why can't you do that? Because if that strategy blows up or if there's a big event that wipes out the account or if there's lots of leverage being used or something gets out of hand, anything along those lines, we as a business, as a company, will get in big trouble with the regulators because we have to adhere to certain standards. Now, of course, you can lose money because that's part of the game. Okay, that's just trading, that's investment, that's the risk clients take. But as long as you're following your risk profile, as long as you're doing everything by the book, that's what needs to be done. So just getting random strategies from here, there and everywhere, it's a pretty dangerous game to play. And to be honest, it is very, it's very time intensive. So once we do that, we have to monitor them for at least six to 12 months to make sure they're not going to blow up. I need to ensure sensible, conservative traders that stick to their risk management and that they don't have a lot of psychological blowouts when they start managing money. It's a very time intensive process. So what I did, I decided to train someone from scratch. I wanted a student to share my approach to trading with. I wanted to show him how I trade, how I've been very successful. I wanted to show him exactly what I did to beat the market every year. I wanted to pass that knowledge on to someone just to make my job at Smile easier. Now, my thought was, if I could do that multiple times, I could have a lot of strategies that I control, that I've trained, that I've brought on, that we can just plug into clients and have full confidence in. So I did that with a guy called Ryan. Now, when he first started, he had no idea what trading was, but he became essentially my first apprentice. 
I did the experiment, I trained him up and he was very successful. In fact, he's never, to this time here, he's never had a losing month. So let me introduce Ryan. And basically what he's going to do, he's just going to take over from here. He's going to tell you a little bit about his experience of working with me. Hi everyone, my name's Ryan and I've actually been training since January 2013 but because of the amazing opportunity offered by Jarrett in a very short space of time I've been able to accomplish a great deal. When I first started I was doing what most of the traders do I was training technically and my results were very inconsistent but fortunately I started working under Jarrett very early in my trading career which I'm incredibly thankful for. After hearing so many of the people's stories it's apparent that my story is not a very common one. Most traders who try and trade Forex end up using technicals and ultimately lose a great deal of money and struggle along for years on end. So again you know I'm very thankful for the opportunity that Jarrett's provided me with um, and at this point I actually trade on staff with Jarrett and uh, I'm so confident in my trading you know I actually roll all my salary into my personal trading account every month uh, and the reason I've got this confidence is because ever since implementing Jarrett's trading methodology I haven't actually had a losing month and in fact I've managed to average about five to six percent a month pretty much stress-free all that being said uh, I can't really stress enough how much of an amazing opportunity this program is don't let any skepticism rob you of the chance to work with the trader of Jarrett's caliber I can tell you that his apprentice program is the real deal and if you get a chance to enter it jump on it Thanks, Ryan. You've been doing a fantastic job. I'm really proud of what you've done. Thank you. Thanks for that. Now, because of the success I've had training Ryan, I came to another aha moment, the ultimate goal here. Because of the success I've had with Ryan, it occurred to me, why not just continue and build a team of apprentices? Wouldn't it be great if all the strategies I can offer to our clients are composed of people that I've personally trained? That would make my job infinitely easier when it comes to selecting strategies. And it would enable me to achieve my ultimate goal, which is of having these traders trade the money while I sit back and make money managing the entire process. So the reason I want to do that is, is quite simple. Remember, my ultimate goal is to travel and have the freedom and flexibility. That's what's important to me. So if I can make a lot of money from managing the operation while letting these guys do the trading, that's effectively the dream I'm looking to achieve. So that's the first section of the agenda. I hope that's given you a good introduction to who I am. What I want to accomplish with this apprentice program. The goal is to build up that team of apprentices trading the proper way. I don't want to continue bringing in traders with their own strategies. I want to train my own traders to give them my strategies and then give them the guidance to hone that strategy into something that can be traded on client accounts ongoing into the future. So what we're going to do next is we're going to continue with the discussion about my view of why fundamentals are so powerful and how I've used them to become the second best ranked Forex trader in the world. So what we're going to look at now is the fundamentals. This is the core of my entire strategy. This is what I'm all about. The most important thing to bear in mind about the fundamentals is that this is the change in approach that made me so successful. So if you only take away one thing from this whole presentation, it's this. Trading fundamentals is the sole reason why I'm so successful now. So let's start with an overview of what fundamentals are. A fundamental is the reason why the currencies move. And it all has to do with the central banks of each nation. So, for example, the Federal Reserve in the US will dictate monetary policies. They will set interest rates. They will talk to the markets. They will try to explain what their view is. And then the markets will take those speeches and actions from the central bank and they'll decide whether or not to buy or sell the US dollar. So if they're increasing interest rates, the dollar will go up in value. If they're lowering interest rates, the US dollar will go down and traders will sell it. It's literally, you know, as simple as that. So every piece of data, every comment and everything that the central bank does, the traders are thinking, how will this impact interest rates? Will this make the bank more likely to increase interest rates or will this make the bank more likely to lower interest rates? And then they trade the currency accordingly. This gives a fantastic long term perspective for each currency. Now, in the short term, we have something called sentiment. This is where the news calendar, this is where those comments and speeches that are made in real time come into effect, because very often things will affect the price of a currency in the short term. So, for example, if in the long term we're expecting the US dollar to go up in the short term, of course, it could drop several hundred pips for various reasons. And we call that sentiment. Now, sentiment is something that can be traded also. If you're a day trader, you want to focus on the sentiment more than anything. Fundamentals are the big picture, which reveals which way prices will be going in the next six to 12 months. Fundamentals are great 
for the position traders and swing traders of this world. Now, fundamentals are also good for the day traders because if you have the overall picture and then you match that with the short-term sentiment, you can get a good idea of how long you should hold your positions, how many pips you should try and take out of that trade in the short term based on the long-term picture. So fundamentals, you know, either way are crucial. Now that we know the fundamentals, the reason I became so successful, we need to know why. There's a common misconception with my stance on fundamentals, particularly when people hear that I'm against technicals. Technical traders get very, very defensive. The reason why I believe or I know that fundamental trading is way more powerful than technical trading isn't because I think all technical analysis is nonsense and none of it works. It's because I believe very firmly that fundamentals instill a much greater degree of confidence and conviction in your trading than, than any technicals ever could. And again, it goes back to the reason. It's purely because they give you the reasons why the currencies are moving the way they are. So if something goes up, you know why. So you have a much bigger picture understanding to make the decision. Do I buy it? Do I sell it? Do I stay out? Because when you know these background decisions, you have much more confidence to make those decisions. When you're trading technicals, if something goes up, very often you just get a buy signal. Unless you're trading a you know, contrarian strategy, and of course you'll maybe get a sell signal. Fundamentally, the basis of all that, just trading technicals I mean, just looking purely at charts, you won't have that confidence because you don't know what's going on. You don't know the reasons why. So that is why I believe fundamentals are so powerful. And that's why fundamentals turn my trading around. And that's why I believe very firmly they're going to turn your trading around when you start applying them. Now, there's another common objective to fundamentals. And, and I actually find this one quite funny. It's all about the news calendar. There's a common myth or misconception or you know, objection that people have when using fundamentals. This is the reason why a lot of people think fundamentals don't work. Okay, so they look at the news calendar, and let's just keep using the US dollar as an example, you know, keep it simple. There's some good news, well, there's some news coming out on the US dollar. It's a high-impact event, and it comes out, and it's green, which means positive. It's very good, good deviations. Then all of a sudden, the US dollar drops, and you look, and you think, well, if it's so good, the US dollar should go up, right? But since it didn't, that just shows that fundamentals are unpredictable, they're nonsense, they don't work any better than anything else. This is a massive misconception. And if you allow yourself to be put off fundamentals by something like this, it's a massive, massive shame, honestly. Because when you understand why the market moves in this way, it will be like a breath of fresh air for your trading. Let me just explain this, and we'll use a real-world example. It happened around July, August 2014 on the British Pound. Now, at that time, we had data coming out very positive, but the pound was falling, and it kept falling. Even though the data was good, even though a couple of the members of the Bank of England had voted for a rate hike, which, of course, is a very powerful for sending the currency up, the pound continued to fall. And a lot of traders were very confused by this. And again, this common misconception and objection kept being raised on the forums, on the post. They kept saying, look what's happened again. The pound keeps falling. You said it should be going up, but it's falling, etc., etc. Now, let's explain why it fell. The Bank of England came out and stated that they were focused not on GDP, not on employment data, not on retail sales or any of that, but they were focused on one piece of data to make the decision whether or not they were going to hike rates or not. The data point was average earnings. They were looking at the quality of the employment market. It wasn't a question of everyone having jobs, but were the people that had jobs getting a good wage? Is the amount of money they're receiving going up? Basically, is the standard of living in the UK going up? Is the quality of the data improved, not just the headline figures, the, you know, the quantity? So consequently, this came out the day after. Okay, they announced this the day after the average earnings figure came out negative and weak. So, of course, traders ignored everything else and were like, wow, well, that's what the Bank of England's focusing on. Average earnings just came out bad, which means they're not going to hike rates, so let's sell the pound. So even though against all the other stuff, even though against the headline, the employment rate is positive, it came out better than expected, more people were in work, less people were looking for jobs, on the surface, it should be positive, but the pound fell, and that's why it's all in the details. Once you know the fundamentals, once you tune in to how to trade the fundamentals, you will understand the reasons why these types of moves happen, and you will have full confidence. So when everyone else is trying to buy the currency, 
you'll be selling because you'll know exactly what to look for based on what the rest of the market is looking for as well. So that is a, is a massive one. Now, if you've been turned off to using fundamentals because of something like this, just remember, once you understand the fundamentals on a much deeper level, you will have a much easier time trading those calendars. And you won't have to be avoiding red impact events just because they're there. For example, let's consider non-farm payroll or you know NFP. Okay, let's, let's, let's go into this one. Now, many traders feel that if NFP is coming out, they should just completely stay out of the market and avoid the volatility altogether. Well, that's absolute nonsense because very often we know what to expect from NFP. We know there's lots of different scenarios, but having the understanding of the fundamentals allows us to actually get into the market before the announcement in anticipation of what's going to happen or in anticipation of knowing that NFP this month isn't going to be that volatile. It's not going to move the market that much. We can hold our positions of staying in the market. It doesn't really matter what it is, but having that deep understanding is the key to trading fundamentals. So those are some of the misconceptions about using fundamentals. If you have any of these, please don't let them put you off yet, because as we go deeper, you'll understand more about the power of using fundamentals in your trading. So that completes the second section of the agenda. I hope it gives you a good overview of what fundamentals are, and most importantly, why it's so powerful and why it turned my trading around. And I'm really confident that they're going to turn your trading around as well. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to continue with a recent trade example of how I will train you to read and trade the markets using these methods. Now, the trading example we're going to look at is a very interesting one, and it's the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. What I'm going to do is we can look at the charts and see what the dollar yen is. But we're going to explain, you know, I'm going to explain to you why it's that. And I'm going to show you how I knew it was going to get where it is now up to around 110 against the US dollar, the dollar yen pair. I knew it was going to get around 110 around 18 months ago. Last year in 2013, I knew this was going to happen. Now, the most compelling thing about this is that I was posting this on the blogs and on the forums. I was posting this for everyone to see, to share this information. If you look at the chart, you'll see in 2014 from its low, Dolly Yen has rallied from about, around about 101 all the way up to around about 110. That's about 800 or 900 pips of profit just from that move. The key here is that we knew this move was going to happen. And the most compelling part about this example is not just the trade I took on my own account. It's not just something I did secretly. I was telling everybody. I was sharing this information freely. So you can actually go back and read this. The dollar yen is going up. Eventually, dollar yen will hit 110, etc., etc. Now, let's look at the reasons why I was so confident that dollar yen was indeed going to hit 110. Even when the beginning half of 2014, it was dipping down three, four, five hundred 500 pips and hitting that 101 level. Now, during that time, I, of course, was still very confident that, that dollar yen is going to go up. This was just giving us an opportunity to get back into the market long, buy it back in anticipation of the big move to 110 that was coming. So let's go through the reasons. In April 2013, the Bank of Japan started their quantitative easing program. For those of you that are not quite familiar, quantitative easing is a fundamental principle whereby the central bank of a country prints unlimited amounts of money and injects that money into the economy. Now, what that does is, of course, devalues the currency because of the simple laws of supply and demand. If you have an oversupply, then the value will go down because the demand will go down. So the value of that thing will go down. Currencies are no different. If you have an oversupply of currency, the value of it will go down. So we were expecting the Japanese yen to fall in value. That's the first part of the trade. The second part of the trade is the Federal Reserve. Around six months after that point in April, towards, I think probably sec, you know, towards the end of 2013, the Federal Reserve announced that they were ending the use of their own quantitative easing program. So they were actually limiting the amount of money that they were printing in the market. They were reducing the amount of money they were printing and injecting into the market until eventually, towards the end of 2014, they eventually would have stopped. So they no longer, they'll, they'll no longer be printing money and then they'll be focused on raising interest rates. So the Bank of Japan has just started that program in the last couple of years. They are nowhere near raising rates. There's talk at this point, it's just speculation, but there's talk of them even possibly extending their quantitative easing program. So, the Bank of Japan is going in one direction, while the Federal Reserve is going in the opposite direction. This is what we call central bank divergence. 
When we get central bank divergence, we expect the currencies to diverge accordingly. So what we expect is the US dollar to go up in value and the Japanese yen to go down in value. So the dollar yen pair will, without any doubt, go up over the long term. As long as that central bank divergence remains, that currency pair will move in that direction. Now, if you look at the dollar yen chart, particularly over the last two years, well, since let's just go since April 2013, or, or, you know, or even if you just want to stick to 2014, you'll see the whole period since it all started, we've had some sell-offs, some serious sell-offs at certain points. The dollar yen sold off several hundred pips in some cases. And the reason for that is due to something we talked about earlier, sentiment. Short-term sentiment caused that pair to fall away. Maybe there was a little bit of negative news from the US. Maybe there was some good data from Japan. Whatever it was, it doesn't really matter what it was, okay? Because the short-term sentiment caused that pattern to fall. But it didn't change the long-term fundamental outlook of that currency pair because of that central bank divergence. So effectively, all the people following me, including Ryan, the people in the trading team, the people in the forums or the blogs, anyone who was paying attention to what I was posting about this were able to get in on this move and ride dollar yen up almost a thousand pips overall. This is a perfect trade example of something that's based on a long-term view. I've been posting it freely for months. Even when the pair was falling and it was based on clear central bank divergence, there were very clear fundamental reasons behind the trade, and it, it was a very simple trade to understand. Now, that dollar yen trade example is an absolutely fantastic example of how the fundamentals play out. And when you join this program, I'm going to show you how you can read each currency, how you can read each central bank, and to identify the central bank divergence. So you can jump on the very best trading opportunities by combining the, the weak and the strong currencies. I'm going to show you how to do that time and time again so you can trade with confidence. I'll also show you how to read the sentiment in the short term, but having that big picture will give you the real confidence to know what to do. And remember, that's what turned my trading around. I'm going to share with you the exact same thing. So that completes the third section of the agenda. I hope it will give you a good idea of how I'll train you to trade the market using my methods. Really get that, you know, so you can see and understand that. Okay, so now I want to go over the details of the apprentice program itself. First of all, I want you to hear from a guy called Romas. Romas is an apprentice of mine that's been in the industry for years. Okay, he's been, he's been in the Forex industry as a whole for years. He has seen just about every strategy from his vantage point. In fact, he runs a website and company that focuses on reviewing trade strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Romas and I am a partner at the Forex Peace Army. I have thousands of strategies come across my desk. In fact, I can confidently say that my visibility into the Forex world is probably better than just about anyone's. Trading has always been a passion of mine, but like most, I have always struggled finding success. It seems like most of the strategies out we see out there are created for one purpose, and that is to sell. So when I run across Jarrod, as you can imagine, it was a breath of fresh air. Here's a guy that is actually ranked by the Barclays Index as being number two in the world, and he is actually managing the forex division of an investment management company directing hundreds of millions of dollars. So I thought to myself, this guy is the real deal. I reached out to him hoping that he would be willing to work with me and to my surprise he said yes. Since then my training has drastically improved, in fact I have not had a losing month and my returns are fantastic. The Forex Peace Army has a very strict policy not to endorse any trader or product. However, being totally honest, this is the best strategy I have ever come across. And this is why all the guys at FPA, including me, now recommend Jared for everyone who wants to conquer the Forex markets. Although I'm not interested in being a junior trader of Jared and trading other people's money, the apprentice program has given me the same skills as a professional funds manager and that translates into great profits on my own accounts. If you get a chance to work with Jared, don't let it pass you by. I'm glad I didn't. Okay, so that completes the fourth section of the agenda today. I hope it's given you a good idea of not only my ability to trade, but my ability to train traders, to grow retail traders and turn them into consistently profitable traders. Whether or not you want to do this on your own account, whether or not you want to trade for clients, whether or not you want to come and join me and trade for clients at Smile, it doesn't actually matter which way you want to go. The fact is, you'll have a consistently profitable technique that you can use and profit from for the rest of your life. It's a skill that you will have forever. 
It's not just some random strategy out of a black box. What we're going to do now is that we're going to continue with an overview. Yeah, we're going to go into an overview of the program. And the reason for this is basically just to help you decide if this is for you. OK, so before I go through this, I want to emphasize that I expect everyone who joins me to be actively involved. That's because I'm going to share with you something that's serious business. It's important to me that I find the right people to join my team. So I'm going to walk you through all the things I've prepared for you. I'll explain what I expect of you when you join my apprentice program. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to go through all the training material that I've prepared. You'll find this by logging into the Apprentice Resource Centre and accessing it from the tab here labelled the course. This section will give you a solid grounding in how I trade the Forex markets and how you can replicate that process. So please start with these 12 lessons because they are critical in basically helping you understand the basis of my overall trading methodology. In fact, my entire methodology is laid out in these training videos. This comprehensive video course is a great resource, and I think you'll find you're coming back to it over and over again. Each time you watch it, you're probably going to learn something new. But what I really want to talk to you about is the next eight weeks, because this is critical to your long-term success of one of my trading apprentices. To start with, we're going to work together live every day with our daily analysis briefings. This is where I'll analyze the market and trade it live along with you. There's a lot of hand-holding during these, these sessions, so a lot of learning takes place. I'll be sharing my screens with you, and you'll begin to see the process that I use to decide what pairs to focus on, how to analyze those pairs, and ultimately how to identify when to enter. You can access this in the Apprentice Resource Center twice a day. The first briefing session starts at 7 a.m. London time. The second briefing session starts at 12.30 p.m. London time. These are the two sessions that I trade and basically where the majority of my money is made. In addition to these daily scheduled times, we will also trade together any time there is a significant news event that I believe will move the market. I need you trading confidently and comfortable during these news events because they offer up some amazing opportunities. Typically, we have an expectation leading into an event and can position ourselves before the data comes out. And in these sessions, I'm going to teach you what it takes to know what side of the market to be on prior to the data coming out. This will enable you to keep your cool during what can be very stressful time for other traders, but it won't be stressful for you. Now, in addition to all the time I'll spend within in these briefing sessions within the Apprentice Resource Center, we also have the Apprentice chat room. This is it's kind of like Skype chat. We're all in there together. And basically, this will allow you to share your ideas with the other apprentices, ask questions or, or communicate directly with me and my staff during the rest of the day. Now, I am normally in there. And if I'm not, then many times one of my staff are. So one of the trading team will be in there to make sure. So, you know, you need to be in there to make sure you take advantage of that. Now, beyond the direct access you have with me and my staff, we have invested a significant amount in ensuring you have all the resources that you need to develop. One of the most important resources we have is our currency watch list section. In this section, I provide you with a detailed summary on the central bank's current stance and its impact on the market conditions. This acts as a roadmap for your trading during the time periods you know, the summary is good for. After the initial eight weeks of your apprentice training, I expect you to be able to create a summary like this independently on your own, just like I would. Now, this is a huge step in beginning to understand the role the central bank plays in currency value and bridging the gap between that and, of course, making good trade decisions. As you're going to learn, the central banks lay it all out very clearly and well in advance. It's a lot like a roadmap. In any case, that's also available in the Resource Center. Okay, So you've got that currency watch list there. The next thing that I'll put out is a very specific trade recommendation. If I'm entering a trade or plan to, I will outline in detail what the trade is, the fundamentals it's based on, how it plays into the long term outlook of the central banks. This is just another layer of the education process. Every, everyone learns differently and that's why we get this information out to you in so many different ways. You should also know that anytime I post any new information, I'll get it to you fast. I'll send it out via text as well as post it to an MT4 indicator. We also have a desktop application to alert you of any changes in the Apprentice Resource Center, any new content that's uploaded. Now, the Resource Center is full of other great resources, but I don't have time to go into too much detail right now. 
but I want to share one, one more thing with you. Successful trading is all about knowing which currency is stronger. It really is that simple. So I've created a program that will give you the fundamental strength of any currency at a glance. This makes it easy for you to pair strong and weak currencies to identify great trading opportunities. The idea is to provide you with a visual representation of the strength or weakness so that you can compare that with what we have shared regarding the central bank's current goals. So this will basically help in bridging that gap in your mind on what weakens or strengthens a currency pair. Anyway, this is all available in the Apprentice Resource Center. I need you to spend as much time as you can with each of these resources. Now, if you choose to join my apprentice program, here's how it will work. During the first two months of the program, I will teach you the core trading methods that I use on a daily basis to trade multi-million dollar accounts. There will be no monthly fees for all the technology and resources that, you're, that we're providing you with. In fact, I'm basically donating my time during this first two months. But after the two months is up, if you're not serious about continuing with the program, I ask that you drop out and move on. To be completely honest, my time is very valuable and better spent with traders who are motivated to do big things. Remember, the goal, my goal here, is to find traders to come work with me and trade big money. And believe me, there's plenty of money to be traded because, after all, we have over $250 million as a group under management. In fact, that's what makes this such a great opportunity for people with limited capital. One of the typical challenges of learning to trade is that not only do you have to invest in the training, but you also have enough, you know, you have to have enough money to trade. So there's no way to make a great living trading with only a few thousand dollars in your trading account. It's not going to happen. But if you show me that you can deliver and trade profitably, there is plenty of money available for you to trade. Getting the money is the easy part, trust me. The bottom line is this. Big money is made by trading big accounts. That's why I believe this program is so key for many of you guys here. So let me bring this presentation to a close by summarizing the entire program. The program is split into two phases. Phase one is the first two months where you'll get a massive amount of core training. And as I said, there'll be no monthly fees or anything during this time. Phase two, which is 12 months, this is where I will continue your training and determine who I want to bring on as a junior trader in the company. Then at the end of this program, I will invite the top apprentices to a private villa, the location of which is still yet to be determined. I was thinking, you know, um, maybe Thailand, something exotic, you know, for an intense week of training and fun. You know, it's, you know, it's not just work, but it's going to be intense. OK, now the cost of that trip will be 100 percent covered by my firm. And from that trip, I will pick the traders who will work with me to be full time junior traders. Now, I know from experience that many of you may choose to use your skills to work for your own or other hedge funds. And still others will simply choose to be highly profitable traders working on their own accounts from their own homes. But the good news is that it's not all or nothing. There's a win for everyone who decides to join this program. If you join, there's basically no losing. If you're serious about working with me, you need to focus on active participation and learning to trade profitably with these methods. Now, if for any reason you don't want to join the company, that's OK. Either way, you will get the skills you need to become a consistently profitable trader. And that's the most important thing. So now let's talk about the enrollment process. As I've mentioned before, you know, I'm committing a significant amount of time with, you know, in you with the goal of using you in my business. My objective is not to make a bunch of money charging to teach you how to trade. My goal is to develop a team of traders to work for me so I can spend more time traveling the world, sipping my ties on the beach. You know, that's the goal. You know, I'm going to be honest. Now, the risk I'm taking is that I'll invest my time, my energy, my money into you. And then you'll take these skills and use them on your own for something else. For example, some of you may take all this training and then accept a job with some other fund. Or some may decide they're making so much money on their own that they don't want to work for me. So for that reason, you'll be charged a modest enrollment fee. Now, if you decide to stay and are chosen to work for me, this fee will be refunded. So the enrollment fee is like a hedge. It's a way to offset my risk, the investment that I'm making in you. So the enrollment fee to join my apprentice program is only $2,997. And as I said, that covers all the training you'll receive during the first two months. Everything. You'll get access to the complete package, all the stuff that I've mentioned previously. And there's no obligation for you to pay anything else or to apply yourself to 
qualified to join my company. Now, if you want, you can simply take all this training and do your own thing with it. However, if you are interested in continuing your training and pursuing a position working with me, you can continue your training after the initial eight weeks for only $297 per month. Again, this fee is to cover staff. We have people working on the project on the site, servers, developers, all the people and the resources whose, whose only job is to basically support and develop you into a junior trader. Now, my assumption is that virtually everyone who joins my apprentice program today is serious about continuing their trading past the two-month mark. Otherwise, you wouldn't join. So after the two months, you'll be automatically enrolled to continue at just $297 per month. Now, if you don't want to continue, if you decide you don't, you know, it's not for you, past those first two months, it's no problem. Just let me know and there'll be no further charges. And here's the good news. Since I expect most people will love what they're learning and will want to stay, we've put together some cost-saving options. One of these is a way for you to save a significant amount of money by paying for six months in advance. So you can save nearly $100 per month by choosing this option. Now, for an even bigger saving, you can choose the 12-month option, which will save you $150 per month. So go ahead right now and choose the option that works best for you. Let me just say this. I'm very excited that you're considering joining my apprentice program. I look forward to sharing my methods, answering your questions, and helping you become the successful trader that you want to be. And I highly recommend that you choose one of these packages because it's a way for you to save, you know, on top of that, to save a significant amount of money. And of course, I really look forward to getting to know you. Thanks, Jarrett. That was a fantastic presentation. We really appreciate you putting that together for us today. Before we get into the Q&A session, I'd like to point out that you should now be able to see a button on the right that you can click on if you'd like to get into Jarrett's Apprentice Program. The link will also be posted to the chat box as well. So if you're interested in joining Jarrett, just click on one of those to get started. And if you have any questions, please just click the chat tab and type them into the box on the right. Jarrett, at this point I'm going to turn it back over to you.